So I'm going to leave this link beneath the video. It shows you where Uber registers uh, the company. Um, most of the times it's offshore overseas. But if you're looking, for example, for the offices in Maryland, right? And this is really for drivers that have an issue with Uber or Lyft, right? What you do is, yeah, you can go out and research. I've got too many people contacting me and say, what's the address? It's all out there. So this link will hopefully save a lot of text messages and emails that come my way each day. Oh, where do I serve the papers if I'm a driver in Maryland? It's all out here, my friends, right? So small claims is so easy to do. Why don't you go and check up your state? Small claims court uh, limit in Maryland or in California, it's $10,000. In Texas, I believe it's $20,000, right? You can check it up and you can see where you can serve your papers, right? Small claims is the way to go. Most of the times they don't show up. Whatever you need to ne negotiate, I've won countless, countless, countless small claims against various companies and I've helped hundreds and hundreds of drivers win small claims against Uber and Lyft, DoorDash, Grubhub, right? So if you were wrongfully deactivated, there's a link below. But here, ladies and gentlemen, for example, um, agent's address, there it is, right? The Corporation Trust Incorporated 2405 York Road, blah, 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 Lutherville, Maryland. There it is. So that's where you go and serve the papers. Now, what's interesting is, look at this here, company type. A foreign corporation, a foreign Uber, you're a foreign corporation. Interesting, right? You, you, your, your head office is in San Francisco. All of your uh, trash executives are in San Francisco, living the high life in Palo Alto, the Bay Area, right? But you are a, you are a foreign corporation. Hmm, something stinks there, right? A, you're obviously diverting all the taxes. You're not paying into the U.S. system as do many other companies, whether it's Amazon, Uber, Lyft, they all roll the same way, right? Here's the registered address. Here's the agent's address. If you need to serve them, it's all here. I'm going to leave the link below, and this will hopefully answer a ton of your questions. My friends, sue them, sue them, sue them. Even if it's just $10,000 here, $6,000 here, anytime they F you over on pay that they're withholding because they deactivated you, a few hundred dollars that they're withholding you, whatever it is, a referral that they owe you, march to small claims court. I've given you the link. I've made it easy for you. If you still have questions, you can come my way. And any type of deactivation, if you were wrongfully deactivated, and there are thousands of reasons, they just, just take the rider's word. You get deactivated. We do the work at Gig Rocket for you, right? And I always send this information at some point to the driver if we need to go as far as small claims, right? Because the beauty is in small claims, as I've shown in past videos, is if you mount your lost earnings, your damages against them, right? They don't wanna pay that. So it's an easy way to negotiate your account back. So come to Gig Rocket, let us battle, let us fight for you. We've done thousands of cases. And again, this link will hopefully be helpful if you need to find out where to serve them. The link's below. Have a great day, please comment.